Hey everyone, let's try to factor some polynomials with negative coefficients, like these two here. So we're still going to use the same strategy as before, the two-step strategy, with the first step being look at the factors of the constant term, and the second step being find two of those factors that add up to be the x coefficient. Alright, so before we jump into example one, let's talk about the goal again. So the goal is to turn a second degree polynomial like we have here with an x squared as the highest uh, exponent on the variable into the product of two first degree polynomials. So that means that each of these are going to have an x in them. So to find the numbers we need to add or subtract from x to get our polynomial back, we're going to use our strategy. So step one says look at the constant term. So in this case, the constant term is 9. So we need to find two numbers that multiply together to be 9 and add up to give us negative 6. So we know 3 times 3 equals 9, but 3 plus 3 equals positive 6, not negative 6. So that won't work. But we also know that negative 3 times negative 3 equals 9 and negative 3 plus negative 3 equals negative 6. So that means minus 3 and minus 3 work. They meet the requirements for our strategy. So that means that this example is going to factor into x minus 3 times x minus 3. Okay, now let's look at example 2. So in this case, the constant term is negative 8 and the x coefficient is negative 7. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to give us negative 8 and add up to be negative 7. So that means that one number is going to be positive and one's going to be negative in order to get this negative 8 here. So let's try 8 and negative 1 because 8 times negative 1 gives us negative 8, but 8 plus negative 1, well that gives us positive 7, so that's not going to work. So let's try and think of some other factors. So maybe if we do negative 8 times positive 1, well that still gives us negative 8. And negative 8 plus 1, well that gives us negative 7. So that works, that meets the requirements for our strategy here. So that means that once again, this is going to factor into the product of two first degree polynomials. So they're both going to have their x's in there. And the numbers that are going to work are going to be negative 8 and positive 1. So that means that this factors into x minus 8 times x plus 1. And if you want to check to make sure that you factored it correctly, you can use the FOIL method to multiply these two out, which I have a video on, and see if you get our original polynomial back. And if you do, then you factored it right. So this is the simplest strategy for factoring, and it works with positive coefficients and negative coefficients. I hope this was able to help clear things up for you. And thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends.